Welcome back to my channel. I have had this laptop for over a month now and today I want to share whether I think this was a good purchase or if there's any things that I'm missing from this laptop. Spoiler alert, I think if I had to purchase it again today, I would buy something different and I'll tell you why in this video. By the way, I filmed this whole video with my iPhone this time, so let me know if you see the difference. I have used this laptop for all of my personal daily tasks, for example, browsing the internet, responding to emails, working on graphic design things, editing photos in Lightroom, video editing with Final Cut Pro. I've also taken this laptop with me to coffee shops and worked from there, while of course, also plugging it into my at-home desk setup. What I really like about this laptop, it never gets hot. I've taken this laptop everywhere. I've worked from my bed, I've worked from my couch, and not once have I heard the fans turn on, even though I was video editing like crazy. So this is a big, big, big pro for me. The second thing I really like is the battery. This laptop seems to last forever. If I take it to coffee shops, even for the whole day, if I sit there for eight hours, this laptop still has battery at the end of the day, even if I'm doing video editing. This was really surprising to me. If I go to a coffee shop and I'm not doing video editing, I start with 100% and after two hours, it's at 95% crazy. The next thing I really like about this laptop is how the keyboard feels. This keyboard is different than the MacBook that I had before and I feel like this is closer to the magic keyboard that Apple also sells separately. So I really like the little bounce back that it has and the way it sounds, the way it feels. So I'm very happy about the keyboard in general. And one thing that has been incredibly useful for me was the card reader slot. This is something that I used so much now that I have it again, because when you're video editing, I'm filming everything on my camera and then I don't have to have all the dongles in my life anymore because I can just plug it into the laptop right away. It's also much faster to export videos directly from the SD card versus with the dongles from the camera. But now let's dive into the things that I wish were a little bit different. First one is, it's definitely heavier than the laptop that I had before. For context, I had the 13 inch MacBook Pro, I think 2018 edition. I do feel how heavy this is when I carry it around walking to a coffee shop. I think on paper, it's not that big of a difference. I've definitely felt the difference on my shoulders. Another thing I wish was different is that it only has one, two, three, USB-C ports. The laptop that I had before had four USB-C ports and I do feel the difference. I have a microphone, I have a monitor, I have some cameras that I want to connect to it, etc. In my view, they have so much space here, why don't you just add four USB-C slots? My life at least would be much easier. And then let's get to the biggest problem that I have with this laptop and that even sparked me to thinking about returning it. I am using this one heavily for video editing as I've shared before. With that in mind, me as a techie, I thought, okay, video editing, you probably need a very, very good processor. So I opted for the M2 Pro. However, that's not the problem that I'm seeing with this laptop. Often when I video edit, it buffers. And when I open the activity monitor, it's not because of the processor, it's actually because of the RAM. I purchased the standard configuration, which only has 16 gigs of RAM, which apparently isn't enough because whenever I open Final Cut Pro, that takes about nine to 10 gigabytes already. I checked that in the activity monitor. And then if I open a bunch of Chrome tabs, for example, my typical video editing process is I open Final Cut Pro, I have a Chrome tab open with Canva where I'm editing animations and beautiful things that I'm adding on top of the slides. And then if I have 10 tabs open at the same time on Chrome, Chrome also takes like three gigabytes of RAM. I don't know what Chrome is doing with all of those gigabytes of RAM. And then it's almost maxed out because then the laptop turns on the spinning wheel. I guess this is my own fault for thinking that the processor will handle everything. I think I'm also spoiled because my work laptop has 32 gigs of RAM. So I never feel the buffering there either. Oh. Oopsie, <laughs> sorry. So if I could purchase this again, I don't think I would purchase the same one. I think what I go for now for my purposes is the regular M2, not the M2 Pro with 32 gigs of RAM instead. Some people have commented that I should have gone for the one terabyte storage version, but to be honest, I don't really need the storage because I'm always just editing one video at a time at this laptop and then I transfer it over to my external cards. So storage has never been an issue for me. Yeah, so there you have it. <laughs> I also missed the return window, which only is 14 days for Apple. I had no idea, but if I could, I will go back, return this laptop and buy a different one just for my own personal needs. 
I hope this was informative. Do not make the same mistakes that I did and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.